Hi you guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new here for another DIY makeover. My name is Josie and I am a wife, a mother to one and have one on the way which is what brings us to today's video. We are turning our guest bedroom into a nursery. It's finally here. I recently just uploaded all my fall videos and then my DIY baby shower after that and after that like um what is it called? The nesting fully just kicked in. I was like, we need to get this nursery done. We needed to get my daughter's room done. We moved her to her room. As I'm recording this, this is the second night she slept in her room fully. We got her a twin size bed and I'm a mess. I was crying for two nights straight, but anyways we just have a lot of diys to share with you we have a diy feature wall that we did in our bathroom we just been i've been nesting i've been trying to get everything done that i want to get done before the baby's here so then in october i'm doing november so in october i could just focus on getting christmas out for you guys and then i can just relax on my last couple of days in november before he comes but anyways um yeah so we're gonna be doing the first part of the nursery makeover in today's video a really easy diy shiplap wall super easy under 150 dollars so throughout if you guys know our guest bedroom was beautiful but little by little we were like up um uploading things on facebook marketplace and we've got it empty to only the bed and yeah that's that's now gone the room is done but this is the first part and these shiplap wall panels you guys so when i tell you that this is the easiest way i have done shiplap i mean that a couple of months ago we did a huge um makeover in my living room if you guys are new here then i'll insert a little clip of what it looks like now but we did the shiplap with underlayment in a ton of different pieces and I had no idea no idea that they sell by the way forgive me how I look about how I look in this video I had just woken up and I wasn't supposed to be in this video but he needed my help um putting up the <laughs> the panels but yeah I had no idea they sell shiplap panels at Home Depot for $36 I will have them linked down below we needed only three panels I we overbought we bought four so we ended up using one in the um the bathroom that i'll be showing you guys in the next two videos but yeah 36 dollars for these panels you guys and all you need to do is rent a nail gun and it's really super easy if you need to make any cuts like my husband did for um the outlet and stuff you can just use one of those multi-tools that are also a cheap tool rental or you could even buy it we have one um we need to invest in a nail gun because we rent this so much but yeah it's literally just putting up panels three panels and just nailing in and putting up your trim so this is by far the easiest way that i could imagine shiplap goes if you want to do a feature wall so these are a little thinner than the ones in our living room and we decided to put them um vertically so yeah my husband is just putting them up and then we're gonna paint put the trim up and get this nursery like feature wall done putting up the crib that we literally just moved to the garage <laughs> before i found out i was pregnant we literally just moved the crib to the garage because my daughter was transitioning and she's never used it and then we had to bring it right upstairs back again so yeah the name reveal will also be in this video some nice diys the second part of the video there's even more diys so stay tuned for that but I'm done babbling now and I'm just gonna let you guys watch. So I won't give you heartache Trust me baby when I say Girl you better walk away oh, yeah. If you try to come closer I'ma give you some closure 
So what he's doing now is just um, putting up the trim and then he's going to caulk everywhere. I'm also going to fill in the nail holes with some dry decks that dries really, really quick. But as you um, do more and more DIYs, you really learn that DIYs are just perfected by these little details like trim and caulk and um, filling in nail holes and all that stuff. That's what really gives it that professional look and at first it's gonna look all like beat up and ugly but then once you paint and everything you'll see the um the benefits of doing all the caulking and stuff like that so i didn't record most of it because i we didn't have a babysitter as always you guys already know <laughs> our diys are always a mess because we're always like taking care of our toddler at the same time so i'm like back and forth with my toddler and he's doing this and it's not that good with the camera so he didn't get a lot of the caulking, I wish he did because it's super satisfying. I don't take no chances, fill up all the blanks with lemon sprinkled ice. Please don't ask me twice. Rhythm got me bouncing, bottles got me crashing. Don't you know? So obviously um, I waited for that to dry up and then I sanded that down, wiped everything down and then um, we started painting. This green, I'm not remembering the color right now but I will have it linked down below but it, it looks, if you look at the paint color and the paint card, it looks a lot more muted than it came out. It came out a little more brighter than I anticipated. And at first it was like, I, I didn't like it, but it grew on me. And again, it's paint, so you can always change it. But it has grown on me. But what he's doing now is just he's going to be cutting in. And at first when we're doing shiplap, we always start in um, like filling in the, the lines because a lot of the times with the roller, it doesn't get in those lines and then you'll see the white through and it won't look nice. So we make sure we do those and then we'll go in with the roller. Um, and yes, I know that I'm pregnant and I'm painting. My, I didn't do a lot of painting, but you can paint when you're pregnant. Um, we made sure the room was well ventilated. The the um, windows were open and stuff. But yeah, he's edging. Um, this edging tool, let me just update you guys right now. It's not a miracle worker. And I don't suggest it, especially for ceilings. Um, when like we, he, he used it for the sides and it came out pretty good. We still had to do some touch-up work, but for the ceiling, if you don't have a super flat ceiling, it is not recommended to use that little tool that advertises the world to you and says eliminates the need for tape. Yeah, no, but yeah, so I know this is going to be a quick video and we just started and already we're almost done with the wall, but that's how quick it is, you guys. You're literally just nailing up three, four panels depending on how big your wall is, some trim, caulking, waiting for that to dry, and then you can start painting. It's super, super easy.
this did take two coats, but here it is in this lighting. And then in the nighttime, we were over here fixing all the mistakes with the white paint that we did, that we, well, my husband um, made because of the edger. It caused us to get so much green on the roof. And that's one of the disadvantages of working with dark paint is your lines are super hard to get crisp. But this was our baby shower. And if you guys remember, we did those flags above everything. And so I am DIYing a banner for the top of his nursery and for his play area. But you guys will see that in the second video. But yeah, I guess here we go. This is his name reveal. His name is going to be Nehemiah. But it was super easy to do on the Cricut. Um, yeah, you can use iron-on if your flags are fabric like mine. And it's a super easy project. I have a ton of these flags. I ordered two. And they come with so much, so I'm going to be doing DIYs with them. I did some for Christmas, too, for my open shelving. Um, but yeah, it's it's super easy, a super easy DIY, and I just love the look of banners lately. So this is the next day. My husband built the crib. It's nothing special. You guys remember this crib from my daughter's room, but yeah, Nehemiah is going to be his name, you guys. I know a lot of you guys guess jeremiah really really close uh, i think like one person said nehemiah but i put a sneak peek of his nursery and you could see the maya so a lot of people thought it would be jeremiah which a story about that is that was actually our first boy name that we picked out in case we had our boy the first time and we were gonna reuse it but his sister ended up having a baby after us and named him Jedediah. So I think Jeremiah and Jedediah is way too close. So I was like, no, we need to find something. And Nehemiah, if, you, um, if you've been following me for a while, then you know that we're Christian and believers. And we just like biblical names or names that mean something biblical. And so Nehemiah was a king in the Bible. And yeah, that's his name, you guys. <laughs> Please hold all the you shouldn't be lifting painting comments and all that stuff. <laughs> um, I did what I can. My husband wasn't home. Uh, we worked on the nursery throughout the weekend and then this was Monday morning and I was just trying to get it done and uploaded. But um, yeah, this crib is from Bye Bye Baby. It's a changing table as well and my father got it for us when we had Eliana. So she's never slept in it. She's literally just now sleeping in her own room for the first time and yeah but i'm not making that mistake with this baby so i'm going ahead and reusing this these sheets are his you'll see more of it in the next video but the theme of his um nursery is like boho and animal kingdom the same way that his um baby shower was but i already had the crib mattress and everything this is from amazon i'll have it linked down below i got a lot of it for my um my baby shower for I put these things on my registry and people got them so really thankful for that this changing cover is also from Amazon and again just to go with the theme and another another thing that I did to customize this crib for him is I removed the knob covers and I ordered little wooden animal ones and they're super super cute so I'll be putting those up in a second Someone before
So this is pretty much it for the crib wall, which is the first part of the makeover. After this, I'm just going to add some finishing touches with some pillows that I already had that I'm reusing for my guest bedroom. So for his nursery, a lot of the things, bigger ticket things, are reused, like the crib, the nursery chair, and um, the dresser, and all that stuff. I just added little personal touches, did some DIYs to make it his own. But in the next video, you guys will see most of that. I painted a DIY like paint mural and there's a lot in that video. So stay tuned for that. You'll see the rug that I chose and all that stuff. But I hope you guys enjoy today's video, even though it was short. I didn't want to compile everything into one. I'll see you guys in my next one, though. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Dark in the model.